All right, so let's do a little bit about printing and um, saving um, and just some housekeeping things. If we do a file pull down, file pull down menu, I'm going to save as. And now just for, for me, I like to keep everything in one place. So I'm going to go to my FSU folder. I'm going to go down to my Spring 21 classes, drafting software, small theater, right? And I'm just going to call this, this is going to be my small theater LW demo, right? You can call it, I, I suggest you connecting it somehow to your drawing. For me, I'm going to call it that so I can remember what it is. And I'll go ahead and hit save. Saving small theater LW demo, it's a LW6 file, which is Lightwrite 6. And my my machine is bogged down doing all kinds of different things and now it's changed our file name up here we are still linked to our vector works which is just fine and everything is doing good and now I have promised you the ability to print right so if we're looking at this this is in our worksheet view right which is like Excel is our spreadsheet and if we click on layout Layout is going to be our print view and the very first thing you do when you go to your print view is you're going to assign a paper size. Most paper is going to be 8.5 by 11 and so at this point I could just say okay. If you're using a different paper size feel free to change it but 8.5 by 11 is common. So now this shows me what the channel hookup is going to look like. Now to edit within this a little bit you have these options that are across the top, across the top. Zoom in or zoom out, right? So that I can see it, you know, more full page. And it's just showing me the first page. If I want to see the next page, the arrow is above that and it will show me the next page and the last page. And I can bounce back and forth so I can see all of the pages. Okay? Right? And this has um, probably already been organized a little bit from other projects that I've worked on. Let's zoom back in a little bit. If I want to drag a column around, right? Let's say that I want the channel number. Your dimmer and address information may be all the way over on the side. To, and, and this is how we do it. If you just come over and grab the header, you'll get a little hand and now I can drag a column anywhere that I want. If I want the color and the gobo next to the channel, I can move that in advance. right? However I want my channel hookup to appear, I can move this information around. I personally find that having the channel hookup, or on the channel hookup, to have the channel number and then whatever I'm going to be patching on the console to be next to that so that I'm I know what I'm putting where. Okay, so this shows um, the file name and the channel hookup and the pages and the date and then all the information. Now, to look at a different format of paperwork, maybe an instrument schedule, if I do this pull down instead of the channel hookup, let's go down and let's look at instrument schedule. And this will change our paperwork layout and this is now front of house electric 2 and all of our information here and our next page is the first electric and I'm just using the mouse wheel to scroll up and down and our last page which is our third electric with just those pars right so we still haven't printed anything but we've done a layout right we now have our and again if you want to change the columns right where a column appears on the page, right, you can do that. This is now unit number one, its purpose, its fixture, and we just move dimmer over. I'm going to just kind of put it back just because I'm picky that way, right? But we can drag things around. Now, to be able to print, if we go to File, Print Paperwork, which is near the bottom of that list. Print Paperwork. Now it's going to give us an option to print multiple documents at the same time if we want. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to print the channel hookup and I want the complete hookup 
and I'm going to print the instrument schedule and I'm going to say OK that looks great. Now it wants to know what printer I want to use. That's my home printer and if I wanted to print it as a bunch of paper I could or I can come over some people have the Adobe PDF option or the print to Microsoft PDF. That tends to work better for me. You could try either option. I'll say OK. It's printing a PDF. Where do I want that PDF and what do I want to call it? And let's call it Small Theater. Small Theater LW Demo. Great. And we'll save that and now it's printing. It's going to take it a second and it should pop up here in a minute. Maybe it's not. Maybe I have to go look for it. And Let's look here. Small theater. Where are you? There it is. The Adobe PDF. The small theater LW demo PDF. Let's open it. It may open on my other screen. But here's that PDF which you've seen types before. And now it's a PDF that anybody can print. You don't need LightWrite. Right? I've just organized this information so that everybody can see it and I've organized it in the way that works best for me. Right? So that's a little bit about LightWrite <clears throat> and we can talk more about some of the other sorting features in another video. Thanks so much.